Taylor Sheridan, the creator of Yellowstone, is quite the talented person. With Yellowstone so successful, there was a big craving for more like it. So in 2021, Sheridan announced a multi-project deal with Paramount, which includes three Yellowstone spin-offs plus other related Western-themed shows. In this video, you're going to get the inside skinny on these Yellowstone spin-offs, especially everything you need to know about the Four Sixes Ranch. The Deep Heritage of Four Sixes Yellowstone creator Taylor Sheridan isn't just frequently visited by a muse to muster up TV magic like J.K. Rowling and her masterpiece Harry Potter. Sheridan actually does live the culture he portrays on our silver screen with Yellowstone. This became unquestionable as he belongs to a real estate group that has purchased the real-life famed Four Sixes Ranch in Texas. Here's a brief history of the legendary ranch. At the age of 10, Samuel Burke Burnett began learning ranching from his father. Then in 1870, at the age of 19, the young Burnett bought a hundred head of cattle branded with Four Sixes on them. After wheeling and dealing for 30 years, Samuel Burke Burnett, the rancher and oilman, finally purchased his own ranch in 1900 which later became known as the Four Sixes Ranch. This massive West Texas spread stayed in the Burnett family for about a century and a half until Samuel Burnett's great-granddaughter, Anne Windfor Marion, died in early 2020. As written in her will, the property was put up for sale for $341 million. It's been said that Anne Windfor Marion could have been a Taylor Sheridan character herself. As a matter of fact, she lived a life that might actually be portrayed for the masses via film. She was a rancher and businesswoman who served as chair of the Burnett Oil Company. She founded the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and was inducted into the Hall of Great Westerners of the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum, as well as the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. She was married four times and owned seven homes, including a mansion in Fort Worth and a Fifth Avenue apartment in New York. She made the Forbes Billionaires list a few times, including in 2006, when her net worth was estimated at $1.1 billion. Because she was bigger than life, fans are hoping that there's a character based on her in Four Sixes. Upon her death, news hit Taylor Sheridan, who was already chest-high deep in the lore and lifestyle. It's safe to say that he was an avid admirer. It didn't take long for Star Telegram to confirm that Sheridan, leading his posse, signed a contract for the property in December of the very year it went on the market. By March of 2022, the deal was completely signed, sealed, and solidified in stone. Sheridan told the Texas Spur, The legacy of the Four Sixes Ranch and Miss Marion's vision for the ranch are vital not only to the ranch itself, but the rich heritage of ranching in Texas. Don Bell, owner-broker of United Country Real Estate, expanded on this Paramount purchase. He noted that it marks the first time the property had been sold in more than 150 years. And he went on to specifically say, Recently featured on the hit show Yellowstone, the ranch was purchased in its entirety and will continue to represent the icon that it is in the ranching community. History is always being made around this unique ranch and this purchase was no different. It's truly a Paramount purchase. And that runs true by analyzing its sheer size. The Four Sixes Ranch is humongous. The ranch encompasses three separate properties in West Texas, and that includes over 266,000 acres. That's an area larger than the city of San Antonio and twice the size of Chicago. And would you believe that it still places at number nine on the list of the largest ranches in Texas? Texans weren't lying. Everything in Texas is bigger. But even though everything bigger doesn't exactly make it better, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. The Four Sixes Ranch has it, and Sheridan surely puts it to use. Back in October of 2020, some scenes for Season 4 of Yellowstone were filmed at the ranch. And you'd better believe that Sheridan's spinoff Four Sixes will be filmed there as well. The Four Sixes Series Here's the skinny on the Four Sixes, and we're surely not talking about skinny jeans. Fans will remember it as the place where Jimmy, portrayed by Jefferson White, was sent when he couldn't get his act together on the Dutton Ranch. Now we know that it will be the center of an all-new spin-off that will take the Yellowstone story out of Montana to the enormous Texas ranch. Here's the premise of the Four Sixes show. Straight from the horse's mouth, that mouth being a press release from Paramount Plus, the show will explore the history of the legendary property. Founded when Comanche still ruled West Texas, no ranch in America is more steeped in the history of the West than the Four Sixes. 
still operating as it did two centuries before and encompassing an entire county. The Four Sixes has inspired a new scripted series where the rule of law and the laws of nature merge in a place where the most dangerous thing one does is the next thing. The Four Sixes is synonymous with the merciless endeavor to raise the finest horses and livestock in the world, and ultimately where world-class cowboys are born and made. Here's the cast. Unfortunately, there's no official cast list, at least in the composition of this report. But don't incline to frustration. There are some telltale signs of the cast. In season four of Yellowstone, Jimmy was sent to the Four Sixes to be crafted into the proper cowboy meld. At the Four Sixes, he fell in love and decided to stay instead of going back to the Yellowstone Ranch. However, it has been announced that White and Catherine Kelly, who plays the girlfriend he met at the Four Sixes, will return to Yellowstone as series regulars. Perhaps that means that they will continue to serve as the setup for the new series when Yellowstone returns for Season 5, which is set for release in late November. There's more to anticipate. The Yellowstone spinoff 1923 is currently in pre-production. This Yellowstone prequel series is also scheduled to roll on screens at the end of this year. Word has it that principal photography is underway, so the series will be ready to launch at the beginning of the 2022's winter. This news comes after Paramount announced the show's name change earlier this summer, shifting from 1932 to 1923, about 30 to 35 years before Kevin Costner's character John Dutton III was born. The timing makes the setting perfect to reflect on the Prohibition era, the Great Depression, and the pre-Great War era, known as World War I. The official show description foretold, 1923 focuses on the Dutton family's next two generations as they struggle to survive historic drought, lawlessness, and prohibition, and an epidemic of cattle theft, all battled beneath the cloud of Montana's Great Depression, which preceded the nation by almost a decade. The next Yellowstone spinoff is 1883. This prequel delves down even deeper into the Dutton's journey across the plains to Montana. It details how they came to settle in the Big Sky Country. As life is never complete with a straight line to one's destination, Yellowstone 1883 depicts the Dutton's original destination of Oregon. Spoiler incoming! Before James, played by Tim McGraw, and Margaret, portrayed by Faith Hill, could make it all the way to the Pacific Northwest, their teenage daughter, Elsa, portrayed by Isabel May, was shot through the liver with a Lakato arrow. With her fate sealed, James took her to die in a picturesque Montana valley, which then became the Dutton home. Elsa's younger brother, John, then presumably grew up to carry on the Dutton name and honor his sister. Although that part of the story is not entirely vivid, it surely will be in the coming months. As for the cast, Paramount Plus announced that Harrison Ford and Helen Mirren would lead the new series. Even with no further details on their characters, shockwaves erupted across the internet when these two characters were verified. When the show was set to be set in the 1930s, it seemed that Ford would be too old to play an adult version of Little John Dutton from 1883, and too young to play a 90-year-old James Dutton. However, with the shift back to 1923, the series now takes place when James would be about 80, making Ford and Mirren just the right ages to play an older James and Margaret Dutton, who would be in their late 70s and early 80s during the 1920s.